It's the 2nd of December, and today we're building a train station for Chestnut Cove, which is the name I came up with for the village because Christmasville was just a little bit too generic. Anyways, I referenced this build mostly on train stations I've been to, which are primarily in Denmark because that's where I live and usually take the train, but I'm guessing the essential ingredients of a station doesn't vary that much depending on what country you're from, like there has to be a platform for the passengers to get on and off, and a way to tell what time it is so you can know how long until your train is leaving, and finally, a place to buy your ticket. Well, at least if you're a boomer who doesn't know how to buy tickets on the interwebs. But anyways, this station is definitely inclusive of everyone. Even the wandering trader came to take a look while I was building. And of course, I also covered all the roofs completely in snow to fit the aesthetic of the landscape. And finally, I added a bunch of colorful Christmas lights all over the building, which I think looks so cute. And as I had almost finished the outside by now, I moved to decorate on the inside. And here we have the waiting hall where I added a fireplace to brighten up the room and give a little bit more of a homey Christmas vibe. At the other end, there's a kiosk where you can buy some snacks for your trip and your boomer tickets if need be. In the upstairs area, I made a first class lounge and a small bedroom in case the train conductor needs a little nap. Alright, so I'm just placing down the last few decorations and if you were wondering how I get these colorful Christmas lights, all you need are some glazed terracotta and some invisible glowing item frames. And I will leave the command to get the item frames in the description if you want to use this trick on your own builds. And while you're down there, why not write a comment on what your favorite mode of public transportation is? Anyways, see you tomorrow!